hello and welcome everyone today we're gonna practice how to set up one file as a template so we can customize it according to our need and we're gonna save it and we're gonna use again and again the same file and it's gonna be one of our template so let's do that go to the file up and go click on the new then the AutoCAD LT and it's look like we are here so first thing I do not like the grid line on the back so uh, we are setting up right <laughs> so I'm gonna press F7 F7 key from my keyboard so grid line is gone that's the first thing I did second thing I'm gonna take out this UCS icon you see this one bothering sometimes it's gonna come with you it, it's helpful in certain way but I do not need it for every project if I need it I will turn it on so how to turn it off I turn it off this way I use a command so U C S I C O N enter or double F enter it's gone if I want to bring it back I'm gonna type U C S I C O N enter o and enter it's on and it's being off right now i'm gonna press ctrl z from the keyboard so the ucs icon is gone so we're gonna we went one step back now grid is grid line is gone ucs icon is gone now we're going to go to format click on the format go to textile from the top if you come this way uh, the first thing I would do textile now textile I have automatically selected Arial maybe you have a different one better take Arial narrow Arial narrow is a nice and beautiful uh, textile and the height is let's uh, let's do not define the height is in here we're going to do it somewhere else so we're going to choose only Arial narrow apply close then we're going to go back to the format again go to unit and gonna instead of decimal we're gonna make it engineering and then gonna select the choose the precision zero feet zero inches it's you will understand later but stay with me <laughs> so choose engineering choose zero feet zero inch and click ok and then you're gonna go back to the format and go to the point style choose this one well, maybe you need a different one later you're gonna come back but right now we're choosing this one okay so point style is selected now we're gonna go back to the format again and we're gonna choose dimension style this is the big one now dimension style have few other things so you're gonna go to click on new this is the standard one right I'm gonna select one new we're gonna name it like let's say I'm gonna write my name S A R O W A R okay and click continue now it's gonna give me new dimension style server so we are going to customize it uh, more so right now you can click on the lines you see those tabs start with lines so in the line we what we want uh, Uh, everything looks fine to me for now if we need we're gonna change later so symbols symbols and arrows close field yes this is the one I like and uh, its arrow size is 0 feet 0 inch actually 0 0.18 inch so I'm gonna select all of them and type 1 so I want my arrow size 1 inch 1 enter why so I'm gonna type 1 and it's automatically inch gonna come up because our unit is in inch and other than that uh, the arc length symbol above dimension text it's, it's look beautiful uh, I just select this one and other than that uh, dimension break is very small like short it's look like so you're gonna make it 0.5 so like half an inch if it is too much you're gonna come back and you're gonna fix it later I'm gonna go to text now so remember our textile 
is standard but uh, yeah keep it standard but it's a real narrow so keep the text color same color fill fill color known text height we're going to change the text height here let's make it one one inches enter then text alignment align with dimension line it's look beautiful look like this instead of horizontal or like this better align with dimension style dimension line okay other than that uh, vertically centered uh, let's make it above above look beautiful horizontal centered keep it like this and then we're gonna go to our feet in the feet what we need to change do we need to change anything uh, now not nothing for now if anything need we're gonna come back go to the primary unit this is the necessary one go to the decimal go to the engineering because we choose engineering from there remember and then we're gonna choose precision 0 bit 0 inches that's also necessary otherwise it's not gonna match with the other one and uh, that's all you need format engineering precision 0 bit 0 inch that's all and nothing else those are uh, not necessary for now so we did our primary you know setup for the dimension style now I'm gonna click on the OK and then click set current so it's gonna be current set current and close let's try one draw one line and uh, let's say the line is 20 feet and DLI for dimension linear it's 20 feet so let's say if it is six inch more uh, long it's gonna be 20 feet six inches so looks good sounds good what do you think and uh, here's the arrow size and arrow but this gap you see this line almost touching the text so we're gonna go back to dimension style so go to format I am not 100% sure if I show you in the unit we have inches selected maybe if you are in Middle East or some uh, other countries you might need like centimeter or millimeter everything is here so I live in United States and I'm gonna keep inches so it's easy for uh, like me to work with okay so I'm gonna click cancel and gonna go back to format and select dimension style again because we need to make some modifications so the name server is selected go to modify and then you go to symbol and arrow arrow size break size what else offset from dim line so this is the spot you see so you're gonna go to uh, modify then go to text and then offset from dim line so let's make it 0.5 enter you see the gaps automatically is it's being selected so click ok and then close because it's it's done you see this is the gap is in now half an inches look better if you print out it's not gonna touch with each other other than that this gap I kept a little bit like half an inches if I will if we need to make it more we can make it more later that's all guys uh, this is how we set up our unit and dimension style everything is ready as much as I, I checked everything that's all now we're gonna save the file control s for save so I'm gonna go to document go to I then here's the YouTube go to get server and here is going to be our template template 
uh, actually let's name it the way we understand and save That's all. Now let's close this one. We can just go there, close it, and uh, we're gonna open it, open the file from beginning. So here is work on template. But maybe you do not have the screen. It's screen sometimes you know hide. <laughs> so you're gonna go to file, go to open, and then you're gonna find the file where you saved. So work template is here. I'm gonna click double click it's open I'm not going to change this file so this is our like a template you know, template you do not need to change right so we're gonna open it up we have a new project let's say a boundary wall so control shift s control shift and letter s so it's gonna give you ask you to give a new name to save it somewhere else so we're gonna save it same same place just make it uh, like wall design so it's a new name save it here now if we go just to open you're gonna see your original work template is here which is I say 150 a.m. and our wall design is 152 a.m. so this file is as it is but we have the same settings but we have a different file so I'm going to click cancel and we're going to draw something here. So let's say this is a wall and we're going to draw another line here. It's nothing just to show you like we have something in this file. So that's it. Let's say this is a wall, this is a column and they're going to be column on the side also. There you go. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you learned how you can set up a new template according to your need and you can customize it. If you have question, please let me know on the comments. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Bye for now.